Good morning and welcome. I have a new video for you today. I went and checked out a new store in my area called Falling Prices and I learned about this store through a blog. I will link the blog in the description box below that talked about Target salvage stores and this is considered a Target salvage store. They do sell all of the like leftover items at the end of the season from Target. They also sell a lot of uh, what I found was Amazon returns. They had lots of clothing. They had just all kinds of items. Now the store is not for everyone. When you walk in, all you see are these huge big wooden bins row after row after row with all kinds of merchandise thrown into them and then around the outside of the center is shelving that has all kinds of other items whatever day you go depends on what you pay the day that we went everything in the store was four dollars now that doesn't mean that everything in the store was worth four dollars some items that you found were not even worth the four dollars and every day that you go to this store it drops. So I have to say it was quite an experience. If you ever do go to any of the stores called Falling Prices, I suggest you bring gloves and a mask <laughs> because you will be digging through all kinds of bins. Now I have to say I was really surprised at all the items that I found. I did find several items from Target. Some items that I found that were from Target were only uh, marked at retail at $5, so paying $4 for it didn't seem like it was a bargain, so I passed on a few things, but I did pick up a few. Now this is the first thing that caught my eye, and this is from Target. This came out of their Halloween section, and this is quite large. It is a full fabric basket and it regularly retailed for $10. It is their Hide and Eek Boutique. And this is about 12 inches in diameter and about eight inches deep. And it is very sturdy. Not only is it double lined, but it also has something inside to help keep its form. So to me, this was well worth $4 and I was really happy that I found it. This was another item that I believe came from Target out of their Halloween section. And this is one of the branch trees that light up. Now these are rather expensive. I've been looking for one for a long time. And I didn't want to pay $25 or $30 for it. But $4 was well worth it. So I did pick up this. And I'm really happy. I haven't plugged it in so I hope it does work. And most of the decorative items that I did find do all light up, which I thought was very interesting. So I thought this was a good deal. Let me kind of pull it out. So you can adjust it however you want your branches to be. But I thought that was great. This will be perfect for doing a really nice Halloween display. Not only can I hang ornaments on it, but I can use it kind of as the centerpiece and then build around it. Very nice. I thought this was a great find as well. Now this was another item that I do believe came from Target. I believe Threshold is one of their brands. And I was really surprised to see this because it is for Easter and they are wrapped eggs and you get three different colors in there. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like you get three different colors and there are 12 pieces. And here on the back, it retailed for $12. So getting it for four was, I thought, a good deal. So this will come in handy for decorating for Easter. And I thought this was also a really good deal. They had a lot of things that were packaged together in bags like this. So that meant everything in the bag was whatever was the price that day. So I got both of these gnomes and they do light up 
for four dollars which again I thought was a great deal now I don't know if these guys came from uh, Target or not but I think that's really cool let me open it up we can get a better look Well, I think they're very cute and you can shape their hat however you like. So you have it stand completely straight up. I'm going to bend over to the side. I think that's really cute. And right here on the bottom is where you would add your batteries. And let's see. It comes with a little instruction guide and it says that it takes three AAA batteries. But I think that was well worth $4 to get two of them. So they were only $2 a piece. And how great that they light up. Really cute little decor pieces. They'd also make a cute gift for Christmas. Now one thing that really surprised me was that I found so many craft supplies in these bins. I was blown away. I had no intention of coming home with craft supplies, but that's pretty much what I came home with. And I found this package, and this I believe is an Amazon return. And you get eight pieces of Christmas candy ornaments. They were made in China. I'm gonna open this up. Now it's really funny because I was looking at Christmas time for ornaments made that look like candy and I could not find any that I liked. So to me this was totally meant for me that I found these but I really do like them. Um, I think they're gorgeous. They're a good size. I'd say they're probably a good three by two inches if not maybe a little larger. And they do come with a hook, so they'll be easy to attach to a wreath. But I love the variety, and they really do look like candy. So this was an awesome find. And again, all of this for $4. And I believe this is also an Amazon return. And this is a 20-pack of Christmas glittered red decor berries so I have 20 stems in there and they look nice and thick very pretty now this is another one that I believe is an Amazon return and these are artificial flowers and you get 10 pieces and so I got the whole bag let's open this up Now, I was actually looking at these exact flowers on Amazon the other day, and I was about ready to order them. <laughs> so, isn't that gorgeous? So, I have five colors, and I get two stems of each color. Really pretty little wild flowers with some greenery. Very nice. So, ten stems of florals. For four dollars that's even cheaper than Dollar Tree and all those pretty colors and this was such a wonderful find I couldn't believe it when I saw it you get six grapevine wreaths in this package absolutely amazing so you get two large two medium and two small all for four dollars I did my little happy dance. And these are nice. Um, they are already snow tipped, so they are perfect for winter decor. And they're nice and sturdy. They are well made. Now I believe this was also an Amazon return. And this is 30 yards of Christmas ribbon. And this is the red and white check. And I thought that was pretty good, but you know, there's something else in this bag as well. Look in here. There are also three packages of wired lights. 
that run off the batteries and 30 feet, excuse me, 30 yards of this ribbon. So each roll is 10 yards. Oh, that's a great deal. So it has an on off switch and that looks like a good amount of those small dainty string lights. Perfect for crafting. And the ribbon is wired edge. Very shimmery. Nice and thick. I also found this huge roll of this beautiful silver kind of mesh looking ribbon. And this is about two and a half inches and that's got to be like 50 yards. But look at how pretty. Another pin in that one. That is so pretty. I really like that. I've used a ribbon like this in the past and I really do like working with it. It doesn't fray on the end, but it gives such beautiful texture and that little bit of extra glitter that you may need. But I thought that was a great find. And look at that, six rolls of this big, beautiful ribbon. Let's see, this looks like, yeah. This is three inch ribbon. Now it does not give me the length on the roll, but let's see how full they are. Oh yeah, look at that, all that ribbon. That is a great deal. Six rolls of this ribbon and each one is decorated a little differently. They all have the red and black buffalo check in the back and then a silver design over them. So as you can see, these two are different. And then that one just has the polka dots. That has a really beautiful design. But all of these would go really pretty with the silver ribbon that I just showed you for an accent. So I really like that and I couldn't pass it up for $4, all that ribbon. I also came across one of these and this is a lighted Christmas garland at nine feet with mini LED lights. And this one is not clocked and it has pine cones and berries and lights and the lights do run off of batteries. Find the battery pack here. Alrighty. But I like that. Even just to use as garland. But just think of how much greenery and pine cones and berries I get off of this one piece of garland. And I'm really happy that it does light up. And if I can find the little box and here is where you can put in your batteries. You can also set it for several different ways that you want it to um, run the lights. Combination, in a wave, sequential, slow glow, chasing or flashing, a slow fade, twinkle, flash, steady on or off. And you can also set it, it has a timer that will run six hours. That's fantastic. You know something like this would probably go for at least uh, $29 in your regular store. So what a find for $4. I also found another nine foot lighted garland and this one is flocked. And here on the side you can see this one comes with ornaments in blues. It also has white berries, white snowflakes, and flocked snow. This one also comes with the same controller. 
that runs off of batteries where you can set it. Uh, actually, this one doesn't say that it has a timer, but you can set it to combination in wave sequence, slow glow, and the others. So I thought that was, again, another great deal for $4. Now, I'm not going to open this one up because it is flocked and I don't want it to go all over the place. But I did want to show you that it does come with lots of ornaments. All done in the blues on this one, blue and white. Very pretty. And it looks like the lights there are white. But I was so surprised to find so many Christmas crafting uh, items and all of the things that I picked up I thought were well worth the price. I also found this three foot weighted down and lighted Christmas tree and I beelined all the way across the store for that tree. It will come in perfect when I need it for Christmas photos because I always do my Christmas crafts way before I decorate my house for Christmas. So this way I can have a nice backdrop for those photos. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed today's haul from Falling Prices. That was definitely an experience and I will go back. My only suggestion is definitely bring a mask and gloves because you'll be digging through a lot of stuff that a lot of other people have dug through. I thought my finds were definitely worth the $4 that I paid for each item. If you enjoy hauls and craft tutorials, you're gonna wanna check these out. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.